Holy Spirit moves on the tracks of our thoughts. Holy Spirit moves on the tracks of our thoughts. So we mentioned that God doesn't want us to think on the level of our feelings. God doesn't want us to be entrapped by our feelings. God wants us to think by faith. Holy Spirit moves by the tracks of our thoughts. Holy Spirit is like a train. He's like a train. I will just use an example, like a train. Your heart is like a train station, but your thoughts are the tracks that he uses to move upon in your life. If in your heart there is no right thoughts, Holy Spirit cannot operate in your life. And therefore, Apostle Paul is saying, make sure that you have thoughts coming from your spirit, not thoughts constantly being derailed and broken by your feelings or your circumstances. I remember meeting with a young man last week, and he had a very, has a very hard job, and he doesn't pay a lot. And I asked him, what is your dream job? And he mentioned to me the dream job. The job he has right now is nothing <laughs> even close to the dream. It's very difficult, very hard, and it's a minimum paying job. I asked him a question. I said, are you allowed to listen to teachings or like lessons or college lessons on your job? Does it interfere with your job to listen to something uh, through your earphones? He said, no, it doesn't. I said, do you listen to anything? He said, yes. I'm like, let me guess, music. He's like, yes. And this is what I told him. I said, your life will not change when you feel better. Your life will only change when you think better. I'm like, you cannot just, music is good. But if you only listen to music, what it does is it gives you an emotion to last through your heart day. But it will not change your career in five years. But when you take some lessons or you take some teaching you take and you change your thoughts and you think higher than your job in a matter of years you will come up to the level of your thoughts he says pastor i want to do that i got him his phone we downloaded the app a podcast i said what is your dream job and he mentioned this dream job i went on itunes and i found classes and I said, I know you cannot afford to go to college, but you can take your college into your work right now every single day. People with you will look at you and they're jamming to music and that's why they'll work at that job till they die. You on the other hand is jamming to lessons. And you are moving your mind higher to where your job is. And it's a matter of time and your life will catch up to the level of your thinking. Why? Because your thinking is the track through which the Holy Spirit travels upon. Holy Spirit cannot take you to a place that He doesn't first bring your mind to. And He says, yes, I want to diversify. I want to have less. I want to listen to sermons on marriage. I want to listen to sermons that has to do with helping me with my career. And honestly, there is no possible way right now that He can get out of that situation. But Holy Spirit knows how to connect people whose mind has been elevated to the places that are good for them. Can somebody say amen? The example that I, I had is um, this wonderful person who worked as a, as a janitor for 20 something years in this elementary school. His parents were janitors and because they divorced, he could not go to college. The parents had to support the siblings and he started, had to work from an early age and he started to work as a janitor and there's nothing wrong with working as a janitor. But if you are in this country and you speak English and you're a young person, it's good to start as a janitor, but it's not good when you live, work all your life as a janitor and you're able to speak English and you're able to reason and you're able to get a better job. And he worked there as a janitor for over 20 years in this elementary school. Until one day the principal noticed him and he said, listen, I know that right now you're picking up papers, but you know that you can actually grade papers one day. He said, but the only way you will not work as a janitor, but you will move up is when you change how you think. He said, you have to get online classes because you can't quit your job right now to go to school, start getting classes. And he started to enroll himself into school and start getting his associate's degree, sometimes sleeping three, four hours a day, just so he can lift his mind above working as a janitor. Coming back to the same job, cleaning the floors, doing everything, but at night lifting his mind above his situation. And this went on for a few years and then he got his bachelor's and his situation immediately changed after a few years. 
he went and started to be a teacher in the very school he was a janitor in and then he went out and, and said you know what I love being a teacher but I want to go higher and he got a master's degree and today he is a principal of the very same school he worked as a janitor for 20 something years <laughs> my friend the Bible says that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind which means this if your mind is changed your life will be I want to encourage you right now do not be discouraged by your situation in your situation I want you to feed yourself with the proper material feed your faith feed your thought life and think on a different level than your feelings and your circumstances and you will see in a matter of a short time your life will line up to the level of your thinking